Pro Boxing fans here with Adam Smith. Adam, they are taking their way to the stage, as we can hear in the background. <laughs> but how are you, sir? How's things? Well, it's nice to be sitting where Alexander Usyk sat with Tyson Fury's drink. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, what a great place, uh, Guildhall, if you can hear us above the noise. Um, they are dismantling it quickly, getting it ready for a, um, another event. Um, it's beautiful here, isn't it? We were here for the AJ Dubois press conference and um, here for today's, which which wasn't quite as uh, dramatic, was it? Uh, a press conference, a few words, um, but we did get the briefcase and a little bit of fun with the photos. So, uh, yeah, I think two guys who are very serious about the assignment in hand. Um, I had a chance of speaking to both of them, and, um, yeah, they're, they're training very, very hard. They realise how good the other is and uh, how important December the 21st is. So, uh, yeah, a lot of respect. Um, I thought that, actually, when I walked up today, people were going, oh, what's Tyson going to do? Is he going to be a clown? Is he going to... And I thought, do you know what? He's lost this fight. He's going to come back and he's going to want to win it. And uh, it was, uh, yeah, it was... I thought it would be a little bit more wordy, the press conference, but um, I think you could see how much the two of them want it and need it for their careers. And I think the fans are in for a treat December 21st. A little bit like Bivol Batebiev. Let's hope they leave the, uh, the fighting to the ring. And I think that's the most important thing in this one. Um, the world will be on us. And uh, I think we're going to get another cracker. I think the first fight was really good. And I think we're going to get another one. In regards to the press conference, first of all, we saw Alexander Usyk come in character, he said. I think he's come as a hitman. Uh, yeah. People know the PlayStation The hitman, game. the... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Tyson, on, uh, in the, uh, the, he looked very focused mm -hmm. to, to the task at hand. On fight night, in regards to Tyson's side of a lot, a lot was made in regards to the camp and his corner. Nothing's changed in that regard. Do you feel that like them people who have brought him this far along are going to get him to win this rematch on December 21st? I think it's absolutely right that he stuck with Sugar Hill and Andy Lee. They're his people. Um, why change it? They, it was a very close first fight. Um, I said to Sugar earlier, do you go back to the drawing board? And he said the drawing board's already there. We've had the first fight. We've just got to be clever and not get caught. He keeps going back to the ninth round. If that hadn't happened, they believe they'd have won the fight. So, uh, yeah, I think it's more of the same, really. And I think it's good that he's gone back to the two of them because um, I've known Sugar Hill most of my boxing career. He was around Emmanuel Stewart so, for so long. And Andy Lee's part of that cronk system. And we remember when Tyson went in with Deontay Wilder for the second time. Um, he was aggressive. He told us what he was going to do. They all said what he was going to do. No one believed it. And he went and did it. And it was one of the great performances by any British fighter um, in America, I thought. Um, can he do it all these years later against a man of Alexander Usyk's class um, and skill set? Well, we don't know. But um, it's, a, it's a very interesting fight. And the fact that both sides at the press conference were calm and, and um, you know, full of uh, um, self-belief, but also full of respect for the other team, uh, just goes to show you the importance of this fight. Yes, it was for undisputed last time around. Uh, Alexander Usyk has uh, proved himself to be pound for pound king. But now Tyson Fury wants revenge. And uh, we're going to find out. Repeat or revenge. I do want to ask you in regards to Alexander Usyk, do you feel like there's more levels to Alexander? Uh, we've seen so many layers to his skill set, undisputed at Cruiserweight, fought some great pe champions in Anthony Joshua, Tyson Fury, and the list goes on in the heavyweight division. Do you feel like in the rematch that he'll have to go to another level and do you feel like he has other levels to his game? That's an interesting question. I mean, we've seen so many levels to Alexander Usyk. He's been a phenomenon from the beginning, really, since he turned professional. He's done everything asked of him. Undisputed cruiserweight king, undisputed heavyweight king. Let's not forget the 350 amateur fights he had. Gold medal in the Worlds, gold medal in the Olympics in London 2012. Um, he's done it all. And he keeps baffling us, even at this stage. Oh, he can't make heavyweight. Oh, he just scraped past Derek Chisora. No, he didn't. He beat Derek Chisora. And then he went up and he beat Joshua twice. And he beat Dubois. And he beat Fury. So when are they going to start believing that this guy is a modern great and that he is one of the best fighters we've had over the last 20, 30 years? Is there another level to him? I don't know. Well, we need to see it. His footwork is still exquisite. He's a consummate professional. Um, he's late 30s, but there's no sign of him slowing down. Um, it depends what Tyson Fury brings to the ring. If he brings an improved performance, if he doesn't mess about in the first couple of rounds like he did last time, and he, and he takes centre ring, and he gets that jab going, and he throws some early uppercuts, and he hunts the body, then Alexander Rusik may have to find something else magical. But when has he not found that magic? He's found it every time it's been asked of him. So, um, 
I wouldn't write him off in this one of finding it again. But it could be another tough one. And if Tyson gets it right this time, it could be nail-biting for the Usyk camp. You've been around a lot of greats in the past. How hard is it for a fighter that you've spoken to to avenge a loss, especially to this level where you're fighting for all the belts? But, you know, all the boxing fans and casuals are going to be watching this fight on December 21st. How hard is it mentally, how, how hard is it to fight their mental demons to make sure you avenge your, your loss? Well, we mentioned Manny Stewart earlier, and he was there in Oliver McCall's corner when Oliver McCall knocked out Lennox Lewis in two rounds. It took them three years to get Oliver McCall back in the ring, but what did Camp Lennox do? They went and got Emmanuel to, uh, to their side, and, uh, and he navigated the way back. So he plotted the revenge. He then had revenge as well to deal with, with Hasim Rachman after that uh, knockout in South Africa. And he wrote that wrong. So you're looking at Sugar Hill, part of the Emmanuel Stewart um, folklore and, and, and in the footsteps. He knows how rematches work. Um, very interesting, very difficult mindset. Lost for the first time, Tyson Fury. I don't think he accepted it at first. I think he thought he won the fight. Um, even a few weeks ago, he was still telling me that he won that fight. Today, he accepts. He lost the fight. Quite right. He did lose the fight. Alexander Rusik won. He's undisputed champion. OK, the belts have slightly changed. Daniel Dubois has come onto the scene with that brilliant win over Anthony Joshua. But in all intents and purposes, it is for everything again. All the marbles, December 21st, to find out who is the greatest heavyweight on planet Earth. Usyk won it last time. Will he win it again? Rematches? sometimes give us the same result, sometimes more emphatically. And remember, he wasn't too far off stopping Tyson last time out. But they can change. Morales Barrera had a trilogy. Bo Holyfield had a trilogy. Ali and uh, Fraser had a trilogy. We could be having a trilogy next year. We don't know. It's very, very tight to pick. Uh, finally, uh, before I let you go, because I know they want to dismantle the stage. Um, I was with Daniel Dubois on Sunday when he had landed back from Brazil. How is he? He's good. He was good. in uh, happy spirits. Obviously, he holds the other belt, the IBF, uh, yeah. IBF uh, title. Had a for good few weeks in Brazil, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, he, he looked refreshed. Let's put yeah, it that good. way. Um, for you, where does he fit in uh, amongst these top two boys? Not right up there. I mean, Daniel Dubois is the IBF heavyweight champion. Not only did he beat Hergovic, but he beat Anthony Joshua in front of nearly 100,000 at Wembley. Um, and he absolutely crushed Joshua. You know, he didn't let Anthony get into the fight. Um, he won it brilliantly. And, um, yeah, but he did lose to, to Alexander Rusik. So, um, you know, we have to bear that in mind. Um, whatever happened with the low blow, was it, wasn't it? Still Usyk went and got the job done. So Alexander Usyk is undefeated. He's the number one in the heavyweight division. He's pound for pound king as well. Although I was with him backstage earlier and he didn't put himself in the top five list, which is uh, as graceful and as humble as you'd imagine Alexander to be. Um, but yeah, I think that, uh, that Daniel Dubois is, is waiting for uh, you know, the winner of this one. Um, if Usyk wins, it's a rematch. If, if Fury wins, I'm sure he'll want that. Um, but AJ will want to get Daniel Dubois back in a ring. So there's a lot for Turkey Al Sheik and the guys to work out in, uh, in Saudi and how it's all going to play out in 2025. Will we get the Fury Joshua fight we've been hoping for for years? At the moment, what we do know is what we've got in front of us. In eight and a half weeks' time, it's Husik and Fury too. Fury and Usyk, however you want to call it. In my eyes, it's Usyk against Fury. Fury's the challenger. Usyk's the man with the belts, the man with that number one mantle. So let's see what happens on December the 21st. And I'm sure Daniel Dubois will be a very interested spectator. I hope he had a good rest, a good holiday. He deserves it. And he'll be back in 2025 to try and prove himself as the number one heavyweight in the world. Isn't it great? Fantastic. Adam Smith, always a pleasure. Thank you so much for your time. Cheers. Thank you.